Hello everybody, today we are going to take a look at a game called Stolen. I was sitting here thinking about what I wanted to play and figured I'd, I had this, I've seen it many times in my collection and I say, you know what, I'll give it a shot. I know it's a stealth game, I feel like I'm in the mood for a stealth game. So screw it, let's do it. Um, first up, my initial impression is this menu is kind of garbage. It's, it's blurry, it doesn't work well. I'm disappointed by the screen setup because it's just, you know, use your own TV settings. There's no brightness setting or anything. So if I have to change something on the fly, I will. Um, I can make it brighter uh, through my recording software. But I've never played it past like 30 seconds, so let's give it a shot. Uh, yep, I'll save it on the hard disk. I'll overwrite what I already have. I know it's a stealth game. <clears throat> But I don't know much other than that. Let's. Is there a cutscene? Yep. Good evening. I'm Jacqueline Meadows. Tonight's top news story the heat is rising in the run up to the city's elections. Earlier today, Mayor Thomas Morgan made a public appearance at the Metropolitan Art Museum's Japanese Treasures opening. And once I'm re-elected, we'll bring more international treasures like this one to Ford City. While the mayor's main rival, candidate Richard Killian, unveiled his anti-crime platform in a televised address. For years, crime thrived under Morgan's reign, but no more. For years, they called us the city of sin, but no more. The change is in the air. I don't know about you, but I hate this city. It's cold, it's dirty, it's home to far more sinners than saints. <laughs> Myself among them, truth be told. Yeah, they say things are about to change. Twenty years now I've been hearing the same thing, again and again. But nothing ever changes. Same old victims, same old crimes. That's yeah, an endless problem. Unless, that is, you happen to be the problem. So, what is this? Uh, Mirror's Edge mixed with... Splinter Cell? That's what I was going for. Mirror's Edge mixed with Splinter Cell. That could be kind of cool, actually. Ah, good of you to drop in. So what kept you? Just a little pest problem. What can I say? <laughs> I'm a popular girl. All done. That's gonna Gotta work this make time? sure her cleavage It'll shows work fine until you break it. <laughs> I'm alright with that. Wish me luck. Graphics are okay so far. Let's see what they look like in game, I guess. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alright. I need to turn my volume up. Why is it turning? That was weird. The camera was turning by itself. Alright, left th thumbstick controls on your right thumbstick controls camera. Click the right thumbstick to reset camera. Change controls and start. Press A to leap a... Whoop, my TV went black. There we go. Oh, shit. Come on. Press A to leap across gaps. I tried that. There we go. So I can't jump. I just... Oh, I can. That's weird. <clears throat> Run out of the edge and press A to leap at the pole. What pole? Oh, that pole. Yeah, this is about as far as I think I've ever gotten. Crouch and walk off a ledge. Okay. Left thumb sticks a shimmy across. Okay. 
So far, not so bad. I mean, controls seem okay. Pull and hold R to run, to run up the wall or press A to jump. Well, that's cool. So I can run up walls. Press X to interact. All right. Going inside. I think that is literally how far I was. Um, frame rate's a little not great. Full bar, bright light, no bar, no light. I get it. Ah. So I'm completely seeable, and ah, uh, you can't see me at all. Sure. Do I have sound? Is that a thing? Okay, so green not visible. I'm guessing if it's not even green, it's not even visible. Uh, yellow visible up close, red fully visible. Alright. Damn it. There we go. So yeah, this game is a stealth game, obviously, as you can tell. I uh, run and grab... Oh, okay. I had never really heard of it other than when I saw it in the store, and I was like, well, screw it. I like stealth games a lot. I'll give it a shot and see uh, what it's like. Splinter Cell so far is fun. I've beaten the two Splinter Cell games. And... <clears throat> I just haven't really been feeling like starting Chaos Theory. Press white to go into first person mode, left thumbstick to look around, right thumbstick to zoom. Okay, well that shouldn't be the case because I changed that because the right thumbstick should be to look around. So looks like there's a guard there, guard there. So two guards. Yeah, I haven't really felt like starting Chaos Theory yet. I don't know why. Okay, I did that. Use. There we go. But Chaos Theory, everybody says, is so good for this and that reason. And I don't know. I haven't really felt like starting it just yet. I want to kind of wait until I'm ready. Mark the guard with the track. Wait, I wasn't done reading that! What did that say? Oh crap. What did that say? I didn't read it. What did it say? Uh loot ratings controls. What are the controls? No, that's not what I want. God, this is laggy. Uh okay, I don't know what that said about Trying everything. I don't know what the hell that said. Oh, wait, mark this guard with a tracker. These display enemies' location and directly in right. Use up and down to bring up your inventory. Press white to first person mode and X to fire. Okay, here we go. So I got a health pack, tracker, nullifier, an electricity dart that will take out lights, stun guards, temporarily disable home security systems. Cool. Sonic emitter. Sound emitter is used to create a diversion. Cool. Motion tripwires. Early warning device that fires an invisible infrared beam. It stuns the guard who breaks the beam, and warning sound will be heard. Grand Tracker, attached to Hacking Point, to view all traceable items and door status in the area, can only be used once. Cool. Alright, so... 
I gotta click on that. Go first person. And press X to fire? That's weird. So how do I get by him? Can I go up there maybe? Maybe I should go this way? Where's that other guard? I came down this way, right? There was a guard at the end, but... Oh shit! So standing up makes me definitely more visible. It's rainy and it's kind of making the frame rate shit itself, which kind of sucks. I'm assuming that's his cone of line of sight. How do I hit? Oh my god. Get the fuck away from me. How do I hit? Why? Okay. Sonic emitters to divert guards. I don't know how far that guy can see. How do I open that door? Fuck off! Get away from me! Do I have to go up above? I bet I do. Can I climb this? I don't know where to go! Let's try getting up here. There we go. Can I go up this way? Yeah. Oh. God, it's so hard to see anything in the dark. Alright, so let's try going like... Ah, here we go. Lump! Or leap. Lump. Why did I say lump? There we go. No, nobody's here. Go fuck yourself. Alright, fire sonic emitter, distract the guard. The guard will be drawn to whatever you fire place. Once placed, hold black to use it. Alright, so I gotta use... Where are you? <clears throat> Nullifier, sonic emitter. So, shoot it, and then press black to use it. Hold on. Where do I want to shoot it? Go towards it! You're in the line! I can see it! He's in the circle down there! Wow. Alright, let's try a little bit closer then. Go check it out. There we go. Did I make it safely? What's this? Open. All right. So far, so good, right? Not bad, not bad. Okay, you're in. I'm in. Left thumbstick controls on you. Press white for th first person mode. Left thumbstick to look around. Press B to turn around. Oh, that's weird. Oh, it like does it for me. I can't even turn. I just go forward, does it for me. All this stuff must be worth a fortune. 
one of the technicians said that Jade's statue alone is worth more than my house. Whoa. You know what? I've seen your house. All I'm saying is, they should put that on display instead of hiding it away in the research lab. Yeah, but it's like really old. Those museum boys want to prod it and poke it a bit while they have the chance. Come on, let's lock up here and get a coffee. Okay, so it looks like they're leaving. So that's some health. I imagine I don't want to just walk through that door. Whoops. What locker? Oh, wait a minute. What's in there? Nothing? I guess it's just really black. What locker? What's he talking about? Oh, that locker. Do I have a gun? Like, can I, like... I don't think I have a gun. Alright. Oh, I think I do have sound. I just saw some sound emitter running from my uh, map. So if I run, yeah. Alright. So what's the objective now? Locate the basement. Okay. Is there an easier way that doesn't involve going through the door? Lock picking. Cool. Left thumbstick selects and the rate. Oh my gosh. Left thumbstick selects and raises the pick. Match the pick in the barrel and align. Hold the chamber. Blah, blah. Right and left. Control camera. There we go. Well, that's kind of cool. That's an interesting way to do it. I like that. That's cool. That's nice and different than other games. Press and hold left to flatten against walls. Left thumbsticks move and lean around corners. Press Y to go first person while leaning. Security camera. How do I take out a security camera? Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I have something for that. Or I think I'm about to get it. And it'll tell me. So I can track it. I don't think I need to do that. Got it. Anya, you can use your sonic visor to see through doors, but the visor needs sound waves to scan the room. So you might need to make some noise if there's no other source in there. What? Hold X to hold black to whistle. Ensure that sonic emitter is not selected. The noise can attract guards. Uh, the sonic visor. Why? Well, make sure the sonic emitter is not selected. Okay, I'll select that. So, what? The noise can attract the guards to your location or illuminate the sonic visor view. How do I? Oh, oh, what? Look at that! So there's a person right there. Okay, so there's a person in there. Now what? I did that. Now what do I do? Oh, do I go up in the vent? What was the point of doing that? How far does that cone go over? Not very far, I don't think. I think we're alright. 
I think we're okay. So far, this is kind of cool. I like this. I kind of want to beat the first mission, but we're getting up there in time. But that's all right. Can take pictures for some reason. I don't know why. So that was the door, and that was the guard we just saw. There's something in there. What's that thing there? Is that coffee smoking, or it's like right in the middle of my center or my screen? What the heck did B do? That was weird. Where is it taking me? Is this taking me back to where I just came from? Wait. Didn't I just come from here? I just came from there. I don't want to do that. How do I turn around? I just like to go backwards. Hold on, wait. It said B to turn around. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. that was close. So, is that search, search, steal, health? Can I kill a guard? Is that something I can do? Hold on, let me track him. Can I track him? I can't do anything from here. So, it doesn't look like he comes all the way over here. It looks like he walks. In a square. Now, if I track him... Sneak up behind a guard while standing. Press X to put him in a chokehold. Damn screen. No! Okay, well, I failed that. Hopefully he didn't uh, alert other guards. I went up and pressed X and didn't do anything. Alright, let's search. I like this game. I do. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Thief as well. Oh shit. What am I supposed to be searching? There's something to search! Is he going to stay down? That's really nerve-wracking, actually. So what, what's my goal now? Locate the basement. So, go back out? Get up there. Get the fuck up there. There we go. Alright, I think I got what I came for. I got some nullifiers. You can use nullifiers to disable cameras. Disable the security camera temporarily. Shoot the light, or shoot at the light permanently. Press white for first person mode. X to fire. All right, guys, I think we're actually going to call it there because I think this mission is going to go on and on and on and on. I don't know how to shoot out a camera. Um, what the hell? Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for... How do I shoot the camera out? I want to thank... Oh, shit.
That's not good. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming by. Hopefully I don't get seen right now, but uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you're interested in more Xbox content, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.